Just days after winning his fourth Premier League title with Man City, goalkeeper Ederson Marias has made moves to leave. This information has been met with skepticism due to its low reliability. How could someone so successful and happy at the Etihad Stadium want to leave? But it's not just a rumor anymore. On his Twitter page, transfer expert Fabrizio Romano posted a status hinting at the Brazilian goalkeeper's future. Ederson could leave Man City this summer if the club receives a substantial offer. That is a deal likely to happen. There have been many offers from the Saudi Pro League since the goalkeeper hinted at his desire to leave at the end of last season. The decision now rests with Ederson. Man City are said to want Ederson to stay as his contract with the club runs until the summer of 2026. However, the citizens are willing to let their veteran leave if they receive an attractive offer. That has been the style of the Manchester side for a long time. When a player no longer wants to contribute and intends to leave, they will not hold them back. Manchester City are always proactive in transfer deals and are rarely priced out. Ederson wants to leave, Man City can easily find another quality goalkeeper to replace him. Rumors of Man City's interest in Gianluigi Donnarumma of PSG or Mike Maignan of AC Milan have surfaced. This shows that Man City are ready to replace Ederson if needed. Ederson joined Manchester City from Benfica in 2017 for a fee of £35 million. He immediately proved his worth and became the number one choice in the Man City goal. During his time with the club, Ederson has helped Man City win many important titles. Specifically, he has won six Premier League titles, four League Cups, two FA Cups, and one Champions League with the team. These achievements not only affirm Ederson's talent, but also make him one of the top goalkeepers in the world. Besides his reflexes, the Brazilian goalkeeper also possesses outstanding footwork, perfectly suited to manager Pep Guardiola's style of play. Ederson is not only one of the people who helped the 53-year-old coach establish dominance in England, but also a symbol of flexibility and innovation in Man City's playing style. Although Ederson has had successful years at Man City, the relationship between him and coach Pep Guardiola has not always been smooth. In the rescheduled Premier League match between Man City and Tottenham, Ederson had to leave the field after a collision with Christian Romero in the 68th minute. Although he was able to continue playing after receiving treatment from the medical team, coach Pep Guardiola decided to replace Ederson with backup goalkeeper Stefan Ortega. This decision caused Ederson to express his displeasure and dissatisfaction. After shaking hands with Pep, he quickly left the pitch, despite the coach's attempts The incident to of reacting strongly when being substituted in the match against Tottenham is just one of the signs of tension between them. Guardiola has always been known as a demanding coach who is not afraid to replace players who do not meet expectations. Throughout his managerial career, he has never been afraid to replace any star player, including Lionel Messi, the darling of this powerhouse. Take Sona, Bamanic, currently Mancini, the 53-year-old coach has offloaded a series of famous stars, Ronaldinho, Vlatan Ibrahimovic, and Yaya Tour. But no one can complain when he still helps the club succeed or bring in a worthy replacement. This could make Ederson feel pressured and uncomfortable, prompting him to seek a new environment where he can feel more respected and secure. Also during the 2003-2004 season, Ederson experienced several injury problems. This gave backup goalkeeper Steven Ortega the opportunity to showcase his talent. Ortega played very well and received much praise from coach Guardiola. It was in the rescheduled match against Tottenham that Ederson was substituted. Ortega from the backup role excellently locked the main character with a performance worthy of praise. The German goalkeeper made a brilliant save from Sean Hillman's shot in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the South Korean player. On the sidelines, Pep almost fainted from the near-death experience. If it were Ederson in such a moment, it might not have been a similar save. That means Arsenal could be the champions of the 2023-2024 Premier League season. He saved us, otherwise, Arsenal would have been champions. That's the truth. Crazy moment, and his save against Sean, unbelievable. Ortega deserves a lot of praise from the fan. Guardiola even declared that Otega is one of the best goalkeepers in one-on-one -on -one situation. 
Otega's brilliance means that Ederson's place at Man City is no longer as secure as it once was. And recently, the Man City leadership has just awarded goalkeeper Otega a new contract. Ederson really wants to leave? Otega's presence is enough to fill the void. At least until they find a new long-term replacement. Currently, Arnarsson is ready to sign a two-year contract with Ederson with a total value of up to 60 million euros. This means that the Brazilian goalkeeper will earn a salary of up to 30 million euros per year at Arab Seoul, an impressive figure in the final stages of his career. All that remains is for Arnarsson and Man City to negotiate a transfer. It is clear that if he leaves England, Ederson's income will increase significantly, and that is one of the reasons why the Brazilian goalkeeper is considering leaving. Ederson is currently 30 years old. Clearly in the cycle he is entering the final years of his peak playing career. And when he is full of titles, it is also the time when the Brazilian goalkeeper begins to think about accumulating money. If he left while still at the peak of his career, there would obviously be ridicule. But at this point, everyone would completely understand. The Saudi Pro League, although mocked for using money to create attraction, but it must be recognized that they are making the right initial investments to elevate their tournament. Since Ronaldo moved to Arnolser, a wave of European players migrating to the Middle East also been constantly happening. We have Sadio Mane, Karim Benzema, or even Ederson's former teammate, Laporte. It is highly likely that if he moves to the Saudi Pro League, Brazilian goalkeeper's destination will be Al Nasser. The reason Ronaldo's team is interested in Ederson is to upgrade the squad's strength and for commercial purposes. There is no need to argue. Brazilian goalkeeper is one of the best in the world with top-level experience during his time playing for Man City and the Brazilian national team. Not only does the 30-year-old goalkeeper have good reflexes, but he is also excellent with his feet. This can improve the quality of Al Nazar's attacking build-up play as they are looking to improve their competitiveness at the national and continental levels, especially in the context that they are far behind Al-Hilal and Al-Itihad. al Nasser will not only bring quality and experience to the team, but also build trust and attraction for other international stars. This could help al Nasser attract other key talents in the future, to strengthen the development of football in Saudi Arabia. Finally, the signing of Ederson will bring significant commercial benefits to Al Nasser. With Ederson's popularity and wide influence, Al Nasser can attract many new sponsorship contracts, expand its fan base and revenue from commercial activities, as well as enhance their position in the international football community. In short, signing Ederson brings many benefits to Ronaldo's team. That's why they are determined to spend £50 million to get the Man City mainstay. It is clear that this team shows determination and respect for Ederson. That could also be a big factor pushing the Brazilian goalkeeper to Saudi Arabia. Playing football is also a job, and a job is to make money. Trying to earn big money before retiring to live comfortably later, completely understandable. Coming to the Saudi league at the age of 30, and having won many titles, the benefits will outweigh the harms. Besides, although Ederson is one of the best goalkeepers in the world, he is still only the second choice for the Brazilian national team after Alison Becker. Not playing regularly for the national team could be a factor for Ederson to consider. Not quite to the same extent as Neuer and Ter Stegen in the German team. However, not being selected could also prompt Ederson to move to the Middle East. The rumors of conflicts between Ederson and Pep Guardiola are just rumors. But the Brazilian goalkeeper's intention to leave is real. And for this deal to happen, it needs a suitable price, as well as a nod from Ederson himself.